So here's some advice for anyone planning to drop 1500 quid on an original virtual racing cabinet. Don't. Running at smooth 60 frames per second, twice that of the arcade original, and delivering polygons so sharp they could cut through one of Lewis Hamilton's diamond studded earrings, the Switch version is the best virtu virtual racing that's ever looked or played. There might only be one car and three tracks to choose from, but this is the authentic arcade experience after all. Victory depends on you beating 15 other cars on track as you race to each checkpoint before the time runs out. Virtual racing can be hard, and when it comes to steering and braking, precision is key. Developers M2 have packed in a few new features to keep things fresh. There's the Grand Prix mode where you race over 20 laps instead of the usual 5, and where pit stops are actually crucial. In a first for the series, you can now watch back replays of your best races, and there's a helper mode which disables collisions with other cars, so things are a little bit easier. Unfortunately, online is where the game loses the back end somewhat and puts it in the gravel. Races are limited to only two players, and there was some pretty ugly lag when our very own Ben and I hit the track for a few races. Locally, you and up to seven mates can engage in split screen action. If you can rent out your local cinema for a few sessions, great. Otherwise, you and your seven mates might be left squinting. The online aside, I really can't fault this one. It's the best Sega Ages release so far. It's only six quid and takes up less than a measly 300 meg of storage. Purists wanting the option of the original's downgraded visuals are going to be left disappointed. But when it looks this bloody lovely, how could you be? Virtual Racing is up there with the Ryzen Chase Turbo is one of the very best races on Switch. You should definitely buy it. This has been Dreamcast Barber for the Switch Island.